Anyway, uh, that was your tarot card of the day. It's the tree of life. Just pulled it up for everybody at home. And uh, I'm going to make a video here demonstrating a little boogie on, with the emphasis being on the three-hole draw and all of its different bends. Now we're going to get to use every single bend note on the three draw here. Okay. Now there's an earlier video I made on root notes or root note extensions or something that you might want to refer to because it, uh, it gives you some pretty important information. Basically, the information in a nutshell that I'm going to be conveying to you today, hopefully, is that the three draw natural is the one chord. It is, that is going to be your, your first harmony of the one chord. Okay, and your three draw bent to half step, or as Gusso calls it, the blue third, that's going to be your four chord. Okay, and your three draw bent a whole step is going to act as your five chord. Now, what I mean by it's going to be that is I mean is it's going to imply that change, not only um, musically, but to the listener who even doesn't understand, you know, any theory or anything at all like that, or even, you know, if you don't understand anything about it, it's you're going to be hearing the blues in it. Let me run through that blues on one hole really quick. Just a quick review, I'll give it to you. Now, I'm going to play through a 12-bar progression four beats per measure, 12, <clears throat> using just the three hole and three different bends. The th first the three draw, then the three draw bent a half step, back to the three draw, the three draw bent a whole step, back to the four chord, three draw bent a half step, and then back to the one, the three draw. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> So the progression I'm going to be giving you is just a little bit more advanced than that. What I'm going to be playing is the two draw, the three draw bent a half step, and then the three draw. That's what I'll play first. Okay, there it is. It's two draw, three draw bent a half step, three draw. Now I am lip pursing but I'm mimicking the sound of tongue locking by opening and closing my mouth. Now you can play it tongue blocking and it almost sounds the same. Except I can't do it quite as well. But... Okay, so there you go. Now when you get to the four chord, you're going to do the same thing, except one deeper. By one deeper, I mean you're going to play the two draw, then the three draw bent a whole step. Okay, so one more down than you did earlier. And then you're going to release or emphasize the three draw bent a half step. Now that note, the three draw bent a half step, is going to articulate and imply to your listeners the four chord. Okay, or the change, the first change that you hear in the blues. And that's going to sound like... Okay? And then, when you get to the five chord, you're going to do the, exactly the same thing, except go one deeper, or two deeper, rather, whatever you prefer. You're going to play two draw, again, three draw bent all the way down. Okay? That's a step and a half. And then you're going to release or emphasize on the three draw bent a whole step. So, okay, so here's what it's going to sound like together. I'll hold up my finger for the one chord and then four fingers like that and then five for the five chord. Do it again, except without me holding up the hand so I can really just deliver the message here. 
I just put a little turnaround on the end. Now the other thing you can do is really improvise on this and just kind of add an extra note or two at the end. For example, after you go, you could end with, okay, so that's just three draw, two draw, and then two draw blow. I mean, I'm sorry, two blow. So that's the ending, three draw, two draw, two draw blow. And you tag the same thing on on the end of the other one on the four chord, except instead of playing the three drop natural, you play the three drop bent to half step. Let me put that together for you. One, a two, a one, two, three, four. Okay, now the possibilities are endless. Anything you do here, forwards, you can do backwards. Okay, or I'll... Getting the idea of how the three draw can change the uh, the whole progression. Again, refer back to one of my root notes video. It's the second root notes video. Maybe it's called root notes part two. I can't remember. But if you search hard enough, you'll find it. I think then my hair was black and red. All right. Um, again, I apologize to all the parents of the children who will have to hear all of the horrible, homophobic, and nasty remarks that will be placed below this YouTube page. I apologize that your child will have to hear that, and I'm very sorry about that. Anyway, um, <clears throat> this is an A harmonica, in case you were wondering, and uh, that was uh, some lessons on some shuffles. I'm going on tour tonight. band's going to be out on the road for a good while. Got a record coming out. on. I just found out it's coming out April 17th. The whole time I've been telling you the 21st, it's really coming out the 17th. So check that record out. Also, uh, I'm on a new record with a guy named Sean Kellerman, and I'm, on, I'm only on one song, but um, if you want, you can download the whole album or just that one song from his record, which is Sean, uh, with his, from his website, which is seankellerman.com. So uh, check that out. And uh, I hope to see you on tour. I'm going to the Northeast, going to be gone for a whole month doing some New Jersey stuff and all that. If any of you guys are members of the Blues Foundation, please, please, please vote for me for the uh, BMA. I've been nominated uh, for Harmonica Player of the Year for the Blues Music Awards. I could really use your vote if it's not too late. I'm not even sure. Other than that, take care, and uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. See you soon.